What you're viewing is a cylinder off of a V12 Liberty, which originally was an aircraft engine produced uh, starting in uh, late 1917 and actually really did not get into uh, too strong a production until uh, early 18. Uh, it was built by several people, namely Packard, Ford, Studebaker, Buick, Marmon Nordyke, which became Marmon Harrington, uh, and two or three others. Uh, in some cases they were built in full, but mostly they were built by parts by these people and only a few assembled them. Ford built basically all of the um, inner cylinder walls and others did the water jackets, so forth and so on. At any rate, many marine engines are still running with this cylinder on it, although there are not that many liberties that are actually running. There's probably in the world about 20 marine engines that are running, or maybe 25 uh, in boats. And obviously the way they became marine engines was after World War I, there's a tremendous amount of uh, surplus because the war ended simply at the time that they just got into full production on the Liberties. And they built about 22,000 Liberty V-12s, and after the war there was probably somewhere in the area of eight to 10,000 available on the market. Uh, people like Garwood, Capital Engine of St. Paul, uh, Chris Craft, and uh, probably eight or ten other smaller companies were buying these engines and marinizing them. And many cases, such as uh, Capital Engine, uh, later Garwood, and uh, later Villamer, which built primarily for industrial use in terms of work boats, uh, built cast iron cylinders because simply they're more durable. Uh, we carry a few Liberty parts and have access to others, but basically there's a consortium of seven of us that work together that we are able to remanufacture parts as necessary. Uh, we've remanufactured many of them, and at the same time, we still su supply some of the parts that can be found on the open market, which is getting extremely scarce. Uh, the engines are almost impossible to find in the open market. Uh, we have gone so far as to one of the finest transmissions that were ever behind the Liberty was the L12 Capital transmission. And we have cloned that with 100% brand new parts, including castings and everything, and there are one or two of those available. So uh, we're trying our best, but uh, simply give us a call. Uh, we have a lot of resources because no one place has any Liberty parts in depth, but we do have the resources documented from reliable people and can usually help out one way or the other with possibly good used or probably remanufactured.